uh, all of my uh, tours. So if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, my email address as well as the prices are in the description box below. Uh, comment on my video, like the video, subscribe to it. Um, you know, um, the first two videos that give me uh, 300 views, 40 likes, you know, they're gonna get the first two videos, uh, the next batch. If not, then I'll just do the videos what I would normally do, right? Pisces to Aries. So, um, yeah, so let's get into it. So for the Taurus, you have Eight of Wands, Temperance, Tower, wow, okay. Page of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, The World, Empress, uh, Page of Cups, and last but not least, Six, excuse me, uh, uh, Five of Pentacles, excuse me. I said six, Five of Pentacles. Um, so for the Taurus, uh, okay. That's interesting. Okay, so that's interesting. So that's very interesting. So some of you Taurans may have met someone, right, that you thought was good for you. You were in the first stages of getting to know them, okay? And right when the two of you decided to actually start hanging out with, with each other, on some hanging out with them type stuff, trying to be in a relationship, they pull this. They do something real uh, grimy to you, disrespectful. So The Page of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles is about how this is a situation for you where what what's uh what's happening now is so you were you got a chance to really look at this. And they were trying to make it seem like you Torians were the one that was tripping because you have the Six of Swords. So they were being real slick with their words, trying to make it seem like, oh, you can't prove this, right? You can't prove no one is doing anything to you, which is BS. They can prove that. You can prove that. Um, but the world and the Empress now is now about how, what it is is you realize that these people are not really good for you, but you're still giving them leniency. Still giving them leniency to, you know, um, convince you out of it, right? If they were to just sit down and talk to you. And I'm here to tell you, you Torians, that you shouldn't give them leniency in that regard. Um, you know, whatever it is that someone is being on some BS with you, you can't rock with that person. You know, uh, was, was trying to hang out with this particular person recently. I can't trust that person. Because that person, you know, that person used the whole I don't owe you anything scapegoat type stuff. It's not about it's not about what a person owes. It's not about what a person doesn't owe. Because no one who's really being honest, wink, wink, hint, hint, is even going to use that language anyway. Because the truth of the matter is this here. When you grown, when you 18 or older, you're considered an adult, at least at least according to the United States, right? You're you are considered a legal adult, right? So what that means is you are responsible for the things that happen to you. You are responsible for your associations. So so I so whenever it is that me personally, because I'm having a conversation with y'all, Taurus. Me personally. Whenever it is that I say I'm gonna do something, as a grown, as a as an adult, I try to stick to my word as close as I possibly can, and and that was something to behold back in the '80s and the '90s. I wasn't around in the '80s. I was born in '91, but I'm talking about the old, the honest 
old heads who I may have had conversations with. Back in those days, before I was right born, if you said you was gonna do something and you didn't, and you constantly did that, you would get beat up. You would get beat up. Nowadays, being untrustworthy is the thing to do, right? So when you see people who move like that, you can't hang around individuals like that, right? If Because if they're already showing you mentality like that, if they're already showing, if you just getting to know them and they already showing you that they're untrustworthy, why would you continue to hang out with them? And then the things that the Page of Cups and the Five of Pentacles represents, you, did, you made the right decision. You decided to look past through their BS and walk off anyway. Let's clarify the Five of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups, good. Five of Cups, good. Queen of Cups, good. So the Nine of Cups, you do feel confident in yourself moving forward as you should. You've made the right decision, by the way. The Five of Cups, you're mourning this relationship, what could I have? That's normal too because you're supposed to do that because you're supposed to review the relationship that you had so you can learn to get over it. Talk it out to yourself, talk it out to any of your friends, family members, and then you have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups represents how, you know, this is also good in, in this reading because this is about how, you know, taking charge of, of what happened to you, you know, and paying attention to it and, and understanding that look like, not everybody is trustworthy and they're not so i'm glad you taurians figured that out right um don't worry about it you know taurus this is what earth signs deal with right taurus virgo capricorn we deal with heartbreak because we're living in a world where a lot of people are on some bs you know what i mean and they talk a big game but when but when pressure comes for them to actually handle their own business, which they claim to be about, they always fall. They, they. I ain't gonna say always, but I'm, I'm talking about the fake ones in particular, right? Only the fake ones. They always fall through. Peace.